I close my eyes, disconnected and tired. YouTube welcome to my channel if you are new and today I have another video for you guys so today I have my 2018 year end favorites so December favorites so I'm gonna show you guys what I've been loving for the month of December and I cannot believe that 2018 is over I feel like like just yesterday I filmed my December 2017 favorites and yeah time just flies by so fast it's actually kind of scary to be honest like before you know it i'm gonna be like 30 and yeah i'm not looking forward to that it's just crazy and i don't really have any new year's resolutions i feel like i haven't had any new year's resolutions for the past few years actually i'm gonna think of one for this year though but i don't know yet work out more Anyways, let me know what your guys' resolutions are down in the comments section below. I'd love to know. And also, if you don't follow me already, definitely follow me on Instagram. It's just Addict Lulu. And whenever I'm not on my YouTube channel, you can find me on my Instagram posting photos, videos, or stories. So if you want to keep in touch with me when I'm not on my YouTube channel, then definitely follow me on the gram. So anyways, let's just jump straight into this December favorites. So I'm gonna start off with makeup. So the first thing that I have been loving for the month of December is this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Pencil. So I usually use the like pomade, but I have been really enjoying this. It's so much easier to apply, so much faster, and the application is a lot smoother. So the pencil is like very, very thin, so that when you fill your brows in, you can make it look like it's real hairs. You know what I'm saying? And then on the very end, we got this little a brush, you know, to brush out any harsh lines that you draw because you don't want to, you know, make it look like that. It's so obvious that you drew on your brows. I do have it on right now. I filled my brows in with this pencil and I am loving how they look. And this is in the color Ebony for any of you guys who are wondering. Second thing I have been loving for the month of December is this Kat Von T, Kat Von D, waterproof liquid eyeliner so i think this is like the ink one anyways this is in trooper black yeah it's the ink liner so i tried the tattoo liner and that did not go well for me it was not pigmented at all so i had to return it sephora i got this one instead it works so much better this one is so pigmented guys like let me show you so this is what the tip looks like and then look 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 whoa one light swipe and you get this dark dark line so i've been really liking that I used it today for my eyeliner, yes. I've been really enjoying this liner. Second thing I have been loving is this new makeup remover I've been trying. So this is the Body Shop Chamomile Sumptuous Cleansing Butter with Calming Chamomile Extract. So this says it's suitable for sensitive skin, which I do have. And this is what it looks like. So you just twist off the lid and it's a cleansing balm. So you just take your fingers and you get some of the product in your fingers and then you rub it all around your face to break down the makeup. And I love this. I find it's so much better than using makeup wipes. I don't usually use makeup wipes, but I do have them like in my bathroom, but I don't like using them because I find it's just so abrasive and harsh. Like trying to remove the makeup, you're like tugging at your face. Really, really not good for the skin. So that's why I don't usually like using makeup wipes. I usually use a cleansing oil or this cleansing balm. I love this because you just put it on your fingertips, you rub it into your skin and there's no tugging, no nothing. And it's super, super easy and gentle on the skin. I've been really enjoying the Body Shop Aloe Soothing Night Cream. So I got this because I've been wanting some more hydration since it is the colder months now and I do get a little bit more dry and I find this just the job I love the aloe body shop line I feel like that's the best one for my skin um, it's worked wonders for my skin and it's supposed to be for sensitive skin so I have sensitive skin and combination skin but this works really great for it and this is what it looks like and it has no scent, which is great because I don't like to use skincare products that do have a scent on them. I find it irritates my skin. Usually it does, usually scents or like fragrances irritate 
people who have sensitive skin. So I only apply this on areas that I'm dry. So it'll be like my cheek, the tip of my nose, and just like right here. I'm more oily on my forehead, like down the bridge of my nose, and then my chin. So that's why I don't apply this normally on those areas. For my daily moisturizer, I will still apply it there, but not this. But yeah, it's really great. I haven't had any problems with it. Does the job. Just makes my skin feel so smooth. Like I wake up in the morning and my skin looks amazing. So now moving on to fitness. I have been really enjoying these Diodora underwear. So this is the thong type. So I got so many of these. This is what it looks like. These are amazing. Like they stay put. They don't roll or anything like that. I also have the Under Armour ones. I do not like those ones. They're just so thin where like you put them on, they just roll. Um, you can see them under your clothes, which I do not like. I love these because they just stay put on your body and then you can't see them through your leggings. They are a bit pricey, they're like $17.99 for one, but they're so worth it, I love them. And I've also been loving the Adidas ones as well. I don't have one to show you guys because they're back at my like other home. And I've been really liking these. Also, they stay put, they don't roll, nothing like that. I hate it when like um, underwear like rolls all around on your body. But yeah, these are $18, but really, really worth it. They have like a bunch of different colors. Like, I also have this blue one here. And I got a, a pair of workout leggings, which I can also wear casually, like just like going out or whatever, doing errands. So this is what they look like. So these are the Nike leggings. So these are high-waisted, which are nice. And they also have the little like Nike logo on the back of the leg. I really like this. I find like Nike and Adidas, they were kind of a little behind on the whole like high-waisted legging trend. They finally came out with some. I really like these. They're so soft. It feels kind of cottonish, which wouldn't be the best to work out in. So normally I would wear this like to do errands or something like that. But I do like this a lot and I do find it very flattering. Also recently I got this new water bottle from Sports Check. Just because all the shaker bottles I've had, I don't like them because they always end up leaking. That's my problem. Um, so I ended up getting just this bottle from Sports Check. Like this, don't have any problems with it. It does not leak in. It also comes with a little shaker bowl for mixing with protein or pre-workouts. And yeah, I have had no problems with this whatsoever. Also, I have been absolutely loving my booty builder band. So I've been including this in all of my glute workouts because it just gives such a good glute burn. And it's nice because it really changes up the workout. And it's just so heavy duty, never have any problems with it slipping, nothing. And yeah, if any of you guys were interested, I will have this link down in the description box. Each band also comes with a six week resistance focused training program and yeah been loving this also I got a new gym bag because my last one was falling apart a lot so it's actually like the same bag almost it's just like another adidas gym bag and it has like a pocket in the front and yeah I've been liking this a lot more than my other one it was like so ripped so broken down so I upgraded and got a new one and I love the color scheme for this like the purple the blue the light gray it's the last one so I was like mm, definitely have to snag that one and I have been trying the Cellicor C4 pre-workout and this one is in icy blue rasp so I have used this before um, I've, I've gone back to using it just because I've been feeling a little tired recently um, and also with the Christmas holidays I just ate so much and I wasn't really motivated to go to the gym so I took this and I feel a lot more energized and yeah I really like this I feel like this is the only pre-workout that I've tried that really gets me all like pumped up ready to go to the gym did get this from Sports Shark and it was $34.99 Finally, I've been really liking this Women's Best Peanut Butter. Um, so this is the crunchy one. They do have a smooth one. And yeah, I like this. I thought maybe it would taste like a little bit weird, but I find it tastes exactly like normal peanut butter because um, I thought it would taste weird because it's supposed to have more protein in it and usually things with more protein can be a little like iffy tasting, but this tastes 
pretty much exactly like peanut butter. It's not as sweet, but you still, it still tastes like peanut butter. And this is what it looks like. It is very liquidy, but I love crunchy peanut butter. Mm, smells really good. It smells exactly like peanut butter. And they also have almond butter and cashew butter on their website as well, but I like to stick with my peanut butter. It's my favorite. And yeah, if you guys are interested in this, I will have a link down in the description box for this. I normally will just put it on rice cakes or I will put it on just like toast. Finally, I have a few Fashion Nova items that I want to share with you guys. I got a pair of jeans that I love. I have three of these actually. I have one in the dark blue and the medium blue and then I got the light blue color. So this is like the high waisted one. It makes the booty look so good guys. I love these jeans. And they're super comfortable, very stretchy as well. And I also got... I think this is the same pair. I'm not exactly sure, but I got another pair from Fashion Nova. It's the black one. So these jeans are like $29.99 like USD and they're so much better than any other jeans I've tried like American Eagle, Topshop. I love Topshop, but I actually like these Fashion Nova jeans a lot better. So this is what they look like. So these are actually the super, super high-waisted ones. Um, and I love how they're just like pitch black. Like look at that. It's making me look like really pasty whenever I show this pair of jeans up on the camera screen. But yeah, I love, love this. I also got two tops from Fashion Nova. This is like a bodysuit and I love how it has this neckline where, you know, really emphasizes the boobs. And then I also got this wrap top in very similar red color. Okay, I'm gonna have a picture of this up because it's kind of hard to see, but I love these wrap tops. I have the black one and I also have the ivory ones and they are so, so nice. I got it as a work top, so I'm gonna have to wear like something underneath it because it's a little bit, a little bit low cut. <laughs> so yeah, that was it for my December favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope everyone has a great New Year's and a safe New Year's. And yeah, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. When I close my eyes, disconnected and tired